there's a lot of footage to edit. This weekend, which is the Blues at Bridgetown weekend. I'm just about to head in, it's like half past three. I need to go in and check in. And then I am playing my first set at the opening ceremony from 5 to 5.30 and then I'm on the main stage from 6.45 to 7.45. All right, let's get going. festivals it was um, chaos so how do I fill you in um, I had to start my first set half an hour early um, and play for 15 minutes longer there um, and then I got to my second gig there was a mess up and stopped the first prior act 15 minutes too early which then meant that they needed me to play 15 minutes longer um, and it was quite a rushed setup in the end there and and then after the show um, met some lovely people so if you're one of them thank you and um, then had a radio interview to do which if you can imagine trying to do a radio interview around live music it's interesting <laughs> but we found this little like corner behind the bar um, where the freezer was kind of acting as a because I should explain it's a pre-record so um, they will take it back to their radio station and air it next week um, so yeah we're standing behind the bars freezer which just I don't know I found it comical um, but yeah I feel like I didn't actually capture much footage because I was just busy doing my thing um, I'm not going out to see music tonight because I'm actually very cautious of you know first night cold air talking to people as well I don't want to blow my voice out on the first night so I'm gonna go home get some rest that'll make the animals very happy as well and make sure that I look after my body and my voice to do the best that I can tomorrow Back roads to and from artist parking. Morning all. It's like 7.30 in the morning. I've had a nice little sleep in. And now it's time to go around and feed the horses because they will be eagerly waiting to be fed, especially after having a sleep in. Duck eggs. <laughs> Clever girls. <gasps> Good morning. How you doing? How you doing? You're like, what is this thing? You remember it and you're not a fan, are you? What do you reckon, Mingy? Mingy man? Let's hurry up and get breakfast. Pookie, can we see your face or only your bottom? Pookie. doesn't like eating out of one of these so he gets he gets straight into his bin. Is that good bub? Mm -hmm.
all about the treats, isn't it? Horses are all done, feed's all dished up. My dad's gonna um, kindly feed them for me this, uh, this evening um, since I've got two shows on today. Um, one at three and one at seven, 7.30. I've got to look at my schedule again. Got to listen to a podcast while I clean the horse paddocks like I normally do. Today's was No Guitar Is Safe. So yeah, now go home, get a feed. I've, I'm going to restring my um, one of my guitars because this is um, something, a note for other musicians out there, other guitar players. I hadn't been able to track down the custom size for one of my guitars, which is a 12 to 56. Traditionally, if you're getting the 56 gauge on the bottom string, they come in a 13 in the top. Um, and just still while uh, a tendon builds strength in the back of my hand that I ruptured. Um, I've just been keeping the, the higher strings that I bend and stuff a little bit lighter. Anyway, um, I hadn't been able to track down the Elixir's 12 to 56s, so I jumped on eBay and found some that way. And when they came, like I noticed that the box was slightly different and I realize now that it's old packaging so somebody's obviously had these strings for a long time because you can see there's little points where it's uncoated just on the very ends of the strings slightly corroded and it just sounds like shit go home and restring that as well and restock my merch and have a feed and maybe even rehearse a couple of songs because I've had some requests for, for songs that I haven't done in a while which is really quite beautiful um, that I've got some followers out there who obviously really listen to my music including the back catalogue so yeah so now I know why I didn't put that last pack of 12 to 56 gauge strings that I had on because when I opened them up these are ones that I've used but that are relatively good condition so I kept them as spares so that's no good um, for, the, for what I need um, so I've had to put on the lighter gauge and the intonation sounds okay so I'll roll with that and that's going to be better than having you know shit sounding heavier gauge strings on there so
feeling good in my side. I'm just going to test my looper as well. Thanks, Kim. There was like about 10 of us watching him as well. Like it just wouldn't happen now. And uh, I just had this moment when I'm like, how is he doing that? And oh my God, I wonder if I could do something half as cool as that. So, you know, it's thanks to the festival, thanks to John that I am now doing this whole solo thing because that led to the evolution of me busting for the first time at the Blues Festival in 2008, which got me my first break when an artist saw me and went, holy crap, you're amazing, can you come and open for some of my shows? And from there, the festival started giving me shows, and then all of a sudden, here I am on, like, Friday night playing on the main stage at the Blues of Bridgetown, and I'm like, whole weekend, I'm going, what the hell, man? Like, this is... look better in the dark so that's awesome especially at the moment I am absolutely exhausted but gigs are done it is just after 10 o'clock so I feel like I've uh, given it a decent red hot go Russell's currently filming so he made it to my last show wave at the camera <laughs> um, yeah good night good night that's all I have uh, this part of the vlog, I'm exhausted. Good night. Alright. We can't have a vlog without you in it, can we? Oh no, we can't. No, we can't. Oh. Good morning. Today is Sunday. Um, I feel a bit more awake now. I. Didn't film doing the horses this morning because it's the same, it's the same deal. So I just want to reflect on last night, not just for the vlog, but for myself so that I can hopefully remember this in the future. Yesterday's show at the festival club feels like the best show of my life. Um, yeah, everything just came together, you know, perfect venue, great sound, great lighting, great stage crew, incredible audience of like a mixture of like some really hardcore supporters out there and some new, just fully open, ready to embrace that live music. And I feel like I had career growth um, from it. And I felt like I was gig fit and I didn't have any tech issues. And I'm just, I'm still trying to feel like it's real actually. Um, so if you were in that audience, thank you so much. I don't think you'll ever know how much it means to me. I'm gonna hopefully hold on to this memory for a long time to keep me going when I have shows that are not so great something that kind of crushes my soul a bit and I realize that that's not why I do live music I do it for that connection that I felt yesterday and if I'm not getting that connection then I don't feel like I'm ticking the right boxes because you know I am as I've said so many times I feel like I am just the messenger for the songs to get to the people and if I'm not getting that connection then I'm not doing my role as that conduit in between so the songs aren't getting heard how they're meant to be and so yeah the songs aren't getting what they need I'm not getting what I need the audience isn't getting what they should um, I did have another one afterwards at the House of Blues which is the repertory theatre afterwards and that went really well as as well I just felt like I couldn't bring as much energy I was really struggling I was super fatigued I gave absolutely every ounce of energy that I had at that festival club gig um, and I tried so hard to bring that again um, a couple of hours later at the festival club up uh, at the house of blues but um I don't feel like I, I could quite wrangle it as well but it was still a lovely gig so now i have regrouped um i'm still feeling pretty pretty fatigued and you can probably hear in my voice i'm aware that that is has worked very hard and i need to be cautious of talking and stuff in venues today so i don't 
damage anything ready for gigs next weekend. But yeah, I thought I would try and actually go and catch some live music because I haven't been able to see anything other than what's been before or after uh, my own shows. So yeah, off I go. I Jeff from Blackwood Rising. He's Pat, I'm Jeff. I'm Pat, he's Jeff. I think um, <laughs> Sunday morning at Bridgetown Blues 2021. We've had a great weekend. Um, Looking yeah. forward to this afternoon at the cidery and uh, currently listening to uh, Sergeant Holger, which is awesome. Yeah, and I heard you guys had some pretty damn awesome feedback all weekend. We have had great have. feedback, so it's, uh, it makes it all worthwhile coming down. I think nice. things are falling into place. Woo! Finally. Blackwood Rising, yeah. check them out. Represent.